Hey guys, so some potential news on what the VIP edition is. So the Double Masters VIP edition is replacing the collector's boosters. And there is speculation that the VIP will contain 35 cards, four per case. And this is pretty interesting because the contents are 21 premium art cards, 10 full art basic lands, two full art premium lands, and two tokens. So the VIP, I think, is kind of a, a sealed pack, it looked like. It, it has a lot of land in it. It has 12 lands and two tokens, and every single card is premium. So the expected value of the VIP is the MSRP, which we don't have anymore, but good to know is $34.99 and to $39.99. So it's a $40 pack. That's mad. Uh, a $40 pack. I don't really know why people want the artwork, like the lands for art, basic lands, or since Return to Zendikar or Battle for Zendikar has been pretty much doesn't have any value to it. I know the Godzilla lands are supposedly, but those are at least foil. It's pretty interesting. I mean, premium, I assume, means foil. So the VIP pack is essentially a, a pack of 21 foil cards, 10 non-foil lands. Maybe they are foil, but then 10 foil lands and then two tokens, which are probably also foil. The direction that Magic the Gathering is going is probably not the best if you are speculating or investing in Magic cards, especially cards in Modern uh, or Pioneer. But I will tell you, I, I'll take a little bit of time to tell you that the dual land investment I made, and I, I could actually say it is an investment, has been really good. All the dual lands are up. I mean, it's so funny. All the dual lands, except Underground Scene Tundra, have seen some type of increase so the dual lands due to reprintings and double masters and commander uh, there are some things that just will always stand the test of time here we have a lot of reserve list cards you can see lion's eye diamonds on top but focusing on scrubland scrubland is 161 dollars up from 150 i will get my list where I bought it from. So Scrublands is probably the worst of the lands, honestly. Uh, Scrublands I was buying for $50 a piece. So retail, they're at 161. Tropical Island has been going up for a while. It's at 400 and I've been getting it for 190. Uh, down the list, Copy Artifact and Badlands is 250 free and I've been getting it for 125. Now, the dual lands have stopped coming into the store. And even though I've raised my buy list price from there, so my uh, scrubland buy list price is 100 now, um, I'm still not seeing them in the store. Uh, even Plateau is 133. I got, I was initially getting Plateaus at 50. I've now bumped that up to 75. And they're just not coming into the store. So the dual lands are on a march up. Because that's what happened. This is exactly, I, I, everyone knew this was the year of EDH. So when they reprint doubling season, yeah, doubling season price are mana crypt. Their prices are going to collapse. But you know how MTG Finance works. The money has to go somewhere and it's going to go into reserve lists and like played reserve lists, like Grim Monlith type of cards. I'm not talking about like imprisoned from Legends, right? I'm talking about um, cards that people actually want to play with. Uh, Thought Last is also an interesting one. Uh, but Tiger, Tiger is up almost 50 bucks. How much was I buying Tiger for? 80 bucks. And the current buy list offer I have right now is 120. So 120 was not bad before the bump. It's pretty close actually. I probably was offering two months at that time. But they're still not, I, I will tell you straight up, they're not coming in the store. No more dual lands are coming into my store. People are holding on for their life because they're going up every day. 
The only one that's not going up is Underground C. And that's kind of weird, but that tells you that legacy and vintage and all that is no longer necessary. It's just EDH. It's just EDH. That's why the cheaper ones, Scrub Lion, Taiga, Plateau, they're, they're the cheapest ones. Badlands, the non-blue land ones are going up. And the one non-blue that is typically expensive by you has not been going up. So the cheaper lands, people are buying them because they're cheap. So would you rather have a Scrubland or a Savannah and then also a Taiga versus just one underground seed? You would take the free dual lands if you were interested in EDAs. So things are going up. Uh, things are definitely good, good if you invested in a dual. I just don't think the dual lands can ever reach the point that they reach it's like the stock market it's like the s p 500 goes down to 242 well i mean that's low like what where like what are you waiting for like maybe go even if it goes down to 220 like it's still a really good buy it's at 300 right now anyway bye guys